Hi, this is Pooja from Alt News. Recently, a Twitter handle that goes by the name Know the Nation shared a video of Rahul Gandhi addressing the Lok Sabha on the Rafale deal. The nine-second clip gave viewers the impression that the Congress president was accusing the Prime Minister of corruption while admitting that he had no evidence regarding the same. The clip was widely circulated on Twitter, including by those followed by the PM himself. I have no proof so far, but I am very clear that the Prime Minister is directly accused in this, is directly involved in But the video hardly had any truth to it. Rahul Gandhi's Lok Sabha speech was doctored. In the original video, he is directing his statements at Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Defence Minister said that we are accusing her. The frame she used was, you are accusing us. Madam, I am not accusing you and I am not accusing Mr. Parikar. I am accusing Mr. Narendra Modi. Let it be absolutely clear, you have done, other than try to defend a lie, you have done nothing. So I do not think that you are involved in the Raphael scam. I have no proof so far to say that you are involved. But I am very clear that the Prime Minister is directly accused, in, is directly involved in the Raphael scam. As you just saw, Rahul Gandhi did not say, I have no proof, but I am very clear that the Prime Minister is involved. He in fact said, I have no proof so far that you, meaning Nirmala Sitaraman, are involved, but I am very clear that the Prime Minister is directly involved in the scam. Now this video was courtesy Know the Nation. But who is behind this handle, which has only a few thousand followers, yet boasts the names of some prominent political personalities like Office of Railway Minister Piyush Koyal and BJP Delhi spokesperson Tajinder Pal Singh Bagga among its followers. While investigating Know the Nation, Alt News came across the LinkedIn profile of one Nilesh Mistri who had listed Know the Nation as an in-house blog of his company and his responsibility within the company which was called Bluecraft Digital Foundation. Mistri had described himself as a senior creative director within Bluecraft. Mistri had also included the names of three other handles New India Junction, Amazing World and True Picture among the in-house blogs in his company. In the past, all of these handles have been found sharing propaganda posts favouring the BJP. When this was revealed on social media, Mistri removed all but one handle from his LinkedIn profile. But Google still has it. If you search on Google, Bluecraft Digital Foundation and Know the Nation, Google throws up the cache of Mistri's LinkedIn profile. Now, Bluecraft has been in news in the past. Last year, it was linked with another Twitter handle and website, True Picture, which was also one of the in-house blogs listed in Mistri's LinkedIn profile. In an investigative report published in 2018, the Indian Express had found that the True Picture website shared its landline phone number with Bluecraft, which was also the technology and knowledge partner to PM Modi's book, Exam Warriors. The company had also published another book on PM Modi's monthly radio broadcast, Man Ki Baat, and termed it as a social revolution on radio. Several of Bluecraft's employees were found to be directly associated with the true picture. Now, Bluecraft is headed by Akhilesh Mishra, the former director of BJP government's online citizen engagement initiative, Mike of India. All News reached out to Akhilesh Mishra to question him on the apparent connection between his company and propaganda platforms. But we are yet to receive a reply. When the Indian Express had questioned him last year, Mishra had denied any links. So the evidence at hand shows that Bluecraft Digital Foundation is associated with several pro-BJP propaganda platforms. And these platforms have shared misinformation in the past, making the company's closeness with the BJP a matter of concern.